day three is here. I am already exhausted and I just got here, but that's okay. Um, I want to put together the other bookshelf. I want to move the desks and wait for it. I went and bought a chair from Walmart. I don't know if it's going to be the best chair in the world, but it looks pretty comfortable and I don't have one in here. And I was told that the ones here are definitely not comfortable. So I thought I would take the chance in getting a potentially comfortable one. I brought in a couple other things too, like this fan because it is disgustingly hot in here. I also brought my wax warmer with some wax. Um, and then there's just a couple other things in there. It's really not that exciting. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna move all the desks, build the other bookshelf and build this chair. I'm setting a goal that I'm gonna have it all done in 30 minutes. Let's see how that goes. put this up since I had extra time because this went so much faster now that I had a screwdriver. I also fixed that from yesterday when I flipped the shelf around. So this looks super cool. I'm going to put, I have a power strip at home I'm buying and then I'm going to buy just a couple charging cables. I know they should bring their own, but they're so cheap on Amazon. So I'm just going to buy them, put them up so that they can have that to charge. Um, the fidgets will stay down here. I don't know what else I'll use these for. I'm sure I'll figure it out at some point, but extra space. I like extra space. So now that's done. We're going to move on to the chair. I'm not sure why they bothered taping it on the sides when they just glued the whole thing down. It's fine. build the seat. It's actually really comfortable. Um, there's no arms. I kind of didn't want them because I hate how like you can't get it underneath a desk. So I'm not like too, too mad about this. Um, for a $45 chair from Walmart, we're good. So that took me about a half hour to do those two things. So it'll probably take me like 15 minutes to do the desk. So I'm like pretty much on track for what I said about uh, 30 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, so I think I have the desks where I want them to go. I might change my mind at some point, I don't know, but I think I'm happy with this so far. We'll see if I'm allowed to keep it this way. Let me show you. So I have them in groups. I have three groups of four. That chair's over here. I need that to do my bulletin board. And then I have three groups of five just because we have three extra desks. I didn't want a group of three. So this is how it's looking. I brought these ones up a little further just so I could kind of zigzag through the room when I walked. And there's still so much space up here. There's plenty of space to be moving around. Um, everyone should still be about three feet apart. Ish, close. I think they're three feet apart. And I mean, quite frankly, everybody here knows that the Delta variant is um, coming back full force. So if I have to move these back into rows, it's really not that big of a deal. Ideally, I would have them closer together and be like, you know, one whole group. But I, for one, I'm not going to risk the health of anybody in this building. So we're gonna go with this and uh, see what happens. Now, I have a couple decorating things that I'm going to do, starting with this bulletin board. I brought my hot glue gun today, so we are going to get that going. Pro tip, when you have letters or something like this and you wanna keep them in a straight line and you know the spacing that you want, use masking tape. Put it across it, stick it up where you're going to put it, and then hot glue it or staple it or whatever you're doing from there and then take the masking tape off. Works like a charm. Also, if you have not invested in a hot glue gun that you can take off of the um, plug and walk around with it, do so. I think I paid $10 for this at Walmart and it just makes everything so much easier when you're trying to do projects like this.
Here's where we're at so far. I got this bulletin board done. Just welcome back and some nice things. You know, be the reason someone smiles today. Stay inspired. You matter. I just think that's really pretty and really good for the kid. So I did that. I made a bulletin board here since there wasn't one. Once again, this is where all the like important things are gonna go. Like, um, this is here. I'll probably keep that there. It's probably smart, but like lockdown procedures. I'm gonna move over here, things like that. So then I finished this sign. I can't really move it because there's a desk right here. Hold on. Finish this sign just with a nice orange border. It says welcome on this leaf. So I think that'll be nice. So now I go on to taking these and putting them up there because this thing is ugly and we're gonna make it look better, hopefully. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so I got a little sidetracked from filming because my husband brought me food and then I just got like really into getting it up on the walls. So I'm going to show you what I've been doing. Let's take a look at that real fast. So now I just went ahead and cleaned off that board. So I'm gonna start getting the washi tape up with the biology and earth science uh, vinyls that I made. I made the CP biology blue, like we talked about earlier. And then the CP earth science is green. This will go ahead and correspond with this being for earth science and this being for biology. I didn't really even think about this color scheme when I did these. So if I have time, I'm going to do something about that. If not, I mean, it is what it is because it says earth science and biology on them, so whatever. So anywho, uh, let's get started. Okay, I love how this turned out. Um, the old Amanda is a really big perfectionist and she'd probably have done this about six more times, especially you see this green line, how it kind of dips right there. It's like so minute, but uh, perfectionist Amanda wants to fix that, but she's not going to because this looks great. I'm super excited about this. Here's something else that perfectionist Amanda would have fixed. We're going to talk about this because I look at this and I truthfully don't think it looks that great. First of all, those are two different sizes. You can see the paper down there, but I think it looks great. And here's what I have to keep reminding myself. The whole point of this brag board is so that this is covered in student work all the time. So the goal is that it's always gonna be covered. You're not gonna even see this. So who cares if for the first like two weeks, it looks kind of sad. That's fine, it's fine. So new Amanda, AKA Amanda who's trying really hard to not be a perfectionist is going to let that go. I'm super happy with the way everything's looking right now. So this is essentially it. There's a couple more things that I wanna do today and then I'll talk to you about what I wanna do next week to just finish up. But uh, let me go ahead and do my last couple things and then we'll talk again. So day three is done and thank goodness because three full days of putting a classroom together is a it's a lot of work. So um, I'm gonna take you around and show you everything that I have done. There's a couple things that I still have to do, which I'll work on next week when I actually, you know, I'm being paid to be here. But I am really happy with how this looks. So let's take a look at that now. Okay, well, we'll start when we walk in. Like I said, this is gonna be a bulletin board. Um, I don't know what I'll put on it yet, but we'll figure that out. It's gonna go right there. Here are my five class rules. This will be the space on the whiteboard that we actually, um, you know, write on and use. That's the paper header if anybody ever needs it. That's how I would like anything that's not um, 
like doesn't just say name and date on it. I want that to be done. Now, if we come to this side, I moved my cytoplasm thing up over here. Um, any type of no-name papers, I'll stick here. This is just my welcome to Mrs. Richardson's classroom. The standards, once again, green is earth science, blue is biology, so they'll know their standards. And then here's the stuff that we're doing in class and also any homework I'll have to jot down. So this is my teacher desk. It's taped off because I was told that if I taped it, someone could roll a paint roller on here real quick to make it just look a little bit better. It's just gonna be that color there, but it'll look better, so that'll be nice. Okay. So here's the welcome back bulletin. What I'm gonna do after like a few weeks is take off the back, so it'll just say welcome. And then I think I'm just going to keep this like this for the whole school year, because I really, really like it. So if we come over here, once again, I need to get um, the cords and the power strip in here. I still have no idea what I'll put on these two shelves, but we'll figure that out. So we have the charging station rules and we have the rules on fidget use. Right next to it, I will be putting the um, rules for the group bins so that will just be like group bin rules like only grab these materials when the board says to do so and blah 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 okay so this cell phone hotel which i showed you i had every intention of hanging it off of this um but i like i said can't staple into it and nothing i do is strong enough to hold you know 30 phones so if anybody has any ideas of how I can incorporate this and use it and something, please let me know. If not, I hope it's not wasted. Maybe one day when I switch classrooms, I'll be able to use it, but it's just not gonna work in here. All right, so here is my science wall. I'm really happy with it. It has the metric system, periodic table. We have uh, the scientific method, temperature conversions, independent and dependent variables, scientific notation, lab safety, all the fun stuff. Then over here is what I was super excited about. This is the scientist of the world. As you can see, it's a scientist of the world. And then this one is the poster that I was trying to show you on day one. And it has all the different things that you can do in science. And all of these are different career paths that they could choose as well. So these three scientists here, like Albert Einstein's over there, Ernest Walton, and I can't read that, Frank Burnett, I believe. They're just three scientists and every month I'm going to switch out for three new scientists. So those will be changing, they'll have something to look at. This is my like happy board, as I'm gonna call it. Pretend it's a board, it's a wall. All my like nice posters, if you never try, you will never know. Think like the person you wanna become, choose kind. Those posters are there. Here we'll have the brag board where we'll hang up student work, followed with student shout outs. So here's my plan with this. Here's a couple more of those posters too. Just really love them so that's like continuing there okay so i bought a whole lot of these I just hung it up with a piece of duct tape and they're just um whatever pieces of paper my plan is that students will fill these out for each other and i'll also fill them out for students and when students fill them out they'll give them to me put them in the bin they can be anonymous i don't care and i'm gonna hang them up on here so if we notice any students do anything good like, I had to tell Billy six times to stay off his phone in class, and today he wasn't on his phone. I'll give him a shout out and put it over here so that, you know, they can feel good about that. I think that'll be good. It also goes into the whole teaching students to um, take initiative, and it shouldn't just be the teachers doing everything in the classroom. I think that'll be good. Here's the whole while you were, while you were out center. I decided not to change my late work policy. I think three days is totally fine. Um, that held up, so I'm very happy. That should be good then. And I, I think that looks really nice. Happy for that. Last but not least, we have the student supply station where they will grab a handout, turn in their work. That's the stop thing to make sure they put their name on it and highlight it. The rules, which are essentially help yourself. If you need something, go up and grab it. Don't waste my time by raising your hand and then I have to call on you and blah, 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 just to say, yeah, go ahead, sharpen your pencil. But here's what I'm hoping with this. Like I said, I have the ready to write and please sharpen. So if they have a pencil and they need to sharpen it, I want them to drop it in here and take a new one. So then I'll sharpen their old pencil and add it back to the ready to write bin. Just that way, I don't have to worry about listing the pencil sharpener when I'm in the middle of a lecture or anything like that. Here's the highlighters for them to highlight their names if they hadn't already done so. Paper in case they need it, construction paper. And then here's where they will take handouts 
turn in their work and turn in their late work. And that takes us back to the front of the room. I am super excited for the beginning of this school year and I think that this is going to be a great year. I know COVID is still a little like, eh, what's gonna happen and whatever it is what it is. I know there's a lot of uncertainties, but I'm just gonna roll with the punches this year and have the best year that we can with the students. And I'm really excited about how this room looks. First, it kind of looked like a jail cell. So it's colorful now. I am, I'm happy to be in here. It, it makes me feel good. And I think it'll make the students feel good as well. And I, like I said, I'm just really excited for this year to start. Next week is my first official week um, employed, yay. So I'll be coming in for staff development days and then the students come back on the 16th. So I'm super, super excited about that. So by the time you see this video, two weeks from now, I'm going to start doing bi-weekly vlogs. So um, just my week in the life as a teacher and anything that pops up during the week. So take, be on the lookout for that. I'm still gonna post every Tuesday, but every other video is just going to be a vlog. If you've enjoyed this video, and I really, really hope you did because I've really enjoyed filming it for you, please like the video, comment on the video, definitely tell me what I can do with that cell phone hotel if you have any ideas and how I can get that to stick on the wall somewhere. And lastly, please subscribe to my channel. It really means a lot and it you know, helps me as a YouTuber to have those subscribers. I love creating this content and I hope to keep doing it and I hope that I can do it with all of your support. So thank you again for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I will see you on Tuesday. Have a great week.